Hello, Coaster fans. This is the Coaster Fanatic. I am back with a Coaster Countdown. This Coaster Countdown is on the top 10 wooden roller coasters that I have ridden. Now, starting 2015, I looked back at 2014 and said, wow, I went to a lot of amusement parks last year. So I thought I would do a top 10 list uh, for 2015 of all the wooden roller coasters that I have ridden. And this coaster countdown might actually be unique in a way that not a lot of people will probably agree with what I like, but I have some a lot of reasons, not some, a lot of reasons that they are there. So I hope you can agree a little bit with me, but yet you can understand where I'm coming from if you disagree with where a coaster is placed. Now, before I begin, there's only two wooden roller coasters that did not make it. That is Woodstock Express at King's Dominion and The Comet at Hershey Park. Alrighty, let's begin. Number 10 is Roller Coaster at Lagoon Park. This is a weird roller coaster. I mean weird. I mean, it's shaky, but I mean, what I mean by shaky is that it's just rattly. Like, you feel like it's going to collapse. It's not like one of those coasters where it's so shaky you're not having a good ride. It's very fun. It's very intense. The drop is okay. The speed is okay. I mean, this coaster just screams out mediocre. <laughs> Basically, the only reason why you would ever want to get off it is because you feel unsafe. Because that coaster so rattly to the point where it's like, <laughs> no, get me off, get me off. <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, the reason why it makes number 10 is because of the airtime. The airtime is not bad for its age, but it's it's getting to the point where there's not even airtime. But it's still not bad. Number 9 is the hurler. They need to remove this coaster. This coaster screams out terrible. This coaster is basically uh, all your rough coasters combined into one big mess and it's just not good at all I mean the only thing good about this ride is the drop and every once in a while one or two hills have some nice air time to it I mean all the air times are no longer good you stay in your seat when you're going over them you're not out of your seat and the only good rows per se are the fir the first two rows the other rows, you're in for the worst ride of your life. They need to just tear it down because this coaster is not good. For some reason, um, the company who does this did not do a good ride at all. They just need to tear it down and put up a new wooden roller coaster because this coaster is just not worth it. I do not recommend anybody ride this. I don't know why that line can be so crazy. So just don't just don't ride it. I recommend everybody just don't ride it. You're in for the roughest ride of your life. If you do want to ride it cuz sometimes it's okay to ride it, only ride the front. The front will give you the best ride there, but it's still not going to be a great ride. For just what I'm saying, so that's why it makes number nine. Number eight is the wild one. Okay, first of all, what I mean by built is when it opened. Second of all, you must be thinking 1917, 1986. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so first of all, this coaster uh, first opened at Nantucket Beach in Massachusetts in 1917. Now, I might be wrong of where it was uh, op first opened, but I know it was in Massachusetts somewhere in 1917. In 1985, they tore it down and then relocated it here to Six Flags America in 1986 as their first wooden roller coaster. So that was pretty cool. So that's why it has a 1917-1986 because, first of all, it was first opened in 1917, but then it got relocated in 1986. So that's really cool. And it's actually, for its age, it's so much fun. This is extreme this is the coaster that screams extreme airtime i'm going to probably say that a lot but it's airtime after airtime it's like a miniature el toro you're out of your seat it's just so much fun and the uh, helix at the end is actually pretty cool it pulls some intense g's right there i recommend everybody write this if they go to six flags america Number seven is the Wildcat. Okay, this is where uh, a lot of people, what I said earlier, are going to probably need to um, listen here because this is going to be hard for a lot of people. It's like, why is Wildcat here? Why is it here? Why is it here? It should be down where Hurler is if Hurler is bad. Now, my dad is a pro at 
knowing how to ride wooden roller coasters. I mean, wooden roller coasters are his favorite because what he says is you've got to lean into the turn. What that means is you look ahead. You kind of lean your body into the turns for when they come, and then you turn your body into the next turn because these have rapid turns, and it's shaky a lot. Now, that's why it can be jerky on you is because those turns come fast, and it's GCI's first roller coaster. Now, for me... I did what my dad said, and I loved it. It was amazing. It was shaky, but it wasn't uh, forcing me into those turns. I went with the turns, and it was so much fun. I had uh, a lot of good positive Gs when I was on this ride, and I hope if you can uh, try, just try to lean into the turns when you can, if you know what I'm talking about, where you kind of move your body a little bit uh, with the turn so that you're ready for when the turn does come. And it actually works, so I hope you guys get to try it out. Number six is Roar. Now, this would be higher up, but the reason why it's not is because this coaster has the uh, PTC trains. It does not have GCI's famous Millennium Flyer trains at all. It sucks a lot, but it's still a good ride. I mean, the good news is they at least replaced the track, so it's got new track, and so it's actually a better ride um, in the sense that it's not as rough as it used to be, so it would have been a lot lower if I had done this uh, coaster countdown last year. So, yeah, that's a good job for Six Flags America and GCI. Number five is Grizzly. Okay, I'm going to do a lot of talking here, so if you don't want to listen to this, just skip ahead, but if you want to know why Grizzly is at number five, uh, stay here and don't skip ahead. This has the best nighttime ride I have ever been on on a wooden roller coaster. Even number one in this countdown does not have the best ride for a nighttime. <coughs> Excuse me. What's unique about this roller coaster is that when you go on it at night, you cannot see anything when you're dropping. <coughs> Excuse me. You just drop down into straight blackness and you t turn and you're like, I don't know where I'm going. And then finally you see lights because they have lights uh, that shine on the turn. You're like, finally I'm going back up and you just like, that was amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm coughing now. And even in the back row, because, I mean, this ride is fantastic, any row, but the best rows um, are the first two in the front and the first two in the back. Because in the back at night, you whip over that lift hill so fast, and you get extreme air time there, and you're going to feel like you're going to fall out because you're like, oh, no, I can't see with the turn. Oh, no, and then we... And then we just turn, and then you just like, oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. Like, I can't express it anymore because it's just amazing. And then the airtime is just so much fun. I mean, you're even front row anywhere, you're out of your seat the entire time. You're going over the hills, you're like, oh, you're in, out of your seat. Then you just plant yourself into positive Gs, then right back out into the tunnel, going into some negative Gs of airtime. Then you twist around, and then you go into more airtime, more airtime, more airtime. It's just incredible. I recommend everybody ride this. This is an amazing wooden roller coaster. I don't care what anybody else says about how rough it is. It's not that rough, and it's just completely amazing. The airtime makes up for whatever roughness I have on this ride. Please, if you go to this park, please ride this, especially at night. You will understand, once you ride this at night, why it makes number five. Alright, and number four, the only reason why Rebel uh beats Grizzly is because uh, this ride stays at its speed longer. It doesn't slow down a lot like Grizzly, especially, I mean, that first hill on Grizzly, the reason why it, I can see why people don't like it is because it kills all your momentum on that turn, um, which kind of sucks, but... This that's why uh, this coaster will be grizzly and it's also faster. What's cool about the pictures here is it's almost like in a timeline sense. The bottom left is uh, Rebel Yell when it had King Cobra in 1977, and then the top left is the one with uh, the water park first opening in 1992, I think, or 1995, somewhere around. Somewhere in between 1992 and 1999, before the south side of the park opened up. And then there's just some other random uh, pictures that I don't know which ones are from, but they're really cool. And it's just 
amazing. This is a good ride. Um, Philadelphia Toboggan Company did really good with this coaster. Number three is the best dueling uh, wooden roller coaster I've ever been on. It is the Lightning Racer. There's nothing I can say besides that this is the best wooden roller coaster at Hershey Park and how it is fantastic. GCI did so amazing on this wooden roller coaster. It's so much fun when you lean into the turns. It's just amazing. I couldn't see the drop at first because you twi you turn so quickly uh, when you're on the drop. And it is just amazing. I love it so much. It was worth the 40 minute wait. <laughs> I went like in 2013 on our band trip and I waited for the front row and I waited for like 45 minutes because it had the longest line of the park. Number two. Okay. I'm going to take a minute because they're probably shocked and going, what, what? So I'm just going to take a minute, you know, sit and relax. Get your thoughts together. Okay, now time for a lot of talking. The reason why this does not make number one is because, first of all, number one is, <coughs> excuse me, is just a lot better and so much more intense. Yes, this is the tallest wooden roller coaster in the world. Yes, it's got uh, the drop is intense, the airtime is intense, everything about this ride screams intense. But I had, and it wasn't as tense as the next coaster. I found the next coaster at number one to be more intense. But this coaster still gave me a great experience, so that's all that matters. But the reason why I made number two, here's the big reason. I've been to Six Flags Great Adventure two times. I have been there, let's see. I've ridden this coaster about four times. Uh, two in the front, one at night, and two in the back. And it was really amazing. I enjoyed it. But for some reason, uh, more than half of the rides uh, that I went on here, more than half the times I've ridden this, uh, excuse me, that was bad grammar, is I hit, somehow hit my head with something or my body hit something in a way that it caused it to be in pain for the rest of the day. Uh, the biggest one was my head hitting the other seat because there was nobody next to me. So my head hit the back of the seat uh, when we were on those uh, rapid turns and I just I was in pain for the rest of the day and I think it even lasted for about uh, half of the week. So that's what I don't like about this coaster is that it's intense but those turns are made uh, to turn you quick, but you're going too fast that it's just not meant to be that quick. So that's what I don't like about this wooden roller coaster. Yes, this is number one. Number one is Outlaw Run. I have no idea why I like this coaster so much. This is amazing. I still don't, I still want to go ride it. I only ridden it twice. Even though I went to Sodar City twice, one of the times the company came and shut it down because of a part uh, malfunctioning. So I only ridden it twice, two, both front row and one at night. The night ride is the second best night ride that I've ever been on. The air time is amazing. On some of those turns when you're going up, the air time, you're out of your seat. The drop is so fantastic. I think this drop is even steeper than El Toro's. This one is an 81 degree drop. So yeah, it is steeper than El Toro's. And the inversions, there's something different about these inversions and the fact that they're better than steel and they're different than steel not the fact that they have wood but the way it makes you feel when you're going upside down is just unique and it's not the same as what you would s expect in a steel roller coaster so that's actually really cool and look how new it, under Bill this is a brand new one roller coaster it, it shocks me how we have come to this part in wooden roller coasters it is so amazing. If you ever get to go to Silver Dollar City, please ride it. It's actually got a quick line because just like Bush Gardens and uh, Disney lines, they they move pretty quick. They might be long, but they move pretty quick to where instead of looking like a hour long line, it's more like a twenty to thirty minute to maybe forty minute ride, which is not bad. I mean, that's probably average for me because I've been in longer. I mean, Six Flags is a Great Adventure. Ugh. Even though they're running so many trains, it just didn't feel like they're running fast. I had, like, I hated it. I mean, waiting for King to Ka, I waited at least an hour all the times I rode it, and it took out a lot of my day because I kept re uh, riding King to Ka. So, I mean, this is 
back to this, it's just amazing. I love it a lot. And the cool thing about this is if you see in the picture with the car going over the inversion, it's the middle picture on the left side. Basically, if you're in the front row, there's not that big uh, plaque or um, piece of metal or whatever you want to call it in front of you. There's just nothing. So everything is just getting... Every, every part of your body just getting hit with wind as you're going down. So it's really cool. It's like nothing is there, nothing to protect you. So you're kind of scared at first. You're like, hope it don't fall out. <laughs> yeah, uh, so Rocky Mountain Construction for me, and I'll just let you know, this is my f most favorite wooden coaster company. Uh, they've done really good with their wooden roller coasters and steel hybrid coasters. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video, and if you'd like to see more, like and subscribe for more. The top 10 steel coasters will be out soon. That's all I can say whenever I get time to do this. And a new show will be coming out, or a new series will be coming out on my channel. Uh, the first one will be in probably a week or two. I'll have a time. I'll have the time during uh, the weekends to do it, so I'll let you know. Uh, later maybe I might do another vlog letting you know we'll see so anyway thanks a lot guys hope you like this video and I'll see you later